Okay guys, today we're going to talk about solid state drives. What they do, what's the advantage, and what's the point, and is it worth your money? Friendly Fire Attack tech videos talking about today's tech. Hardware, software, overclocking, how-tos, unboxings, and reviews. Brought to you by tech enthusiast Jordan Chester. Alright, today guys, um, SSDs, solid state drive, they are very popular, they are very expensive per gigabyte, and they have extreme read and write performance. Now what's the difference between, a sol between an SSD and an HDD? Well, the difference is an HDD has actual s discs in there, you can think of them as CDs, like a CD you would buy and burn stuff onto or whatever. It's, and then a solid state drive is basically like a flash drive, so it has nothing moving inside of it, but it's faster. Now what you need to know before buying an SSD is things, let's, let's, the most, some people think your uh, sequ sequential reads and write speeds are important, or the most important thing, or what they look into the most. It's not. Sequential reads and writes are not the most important thing, unless all you're simply doing with your SSD is copying large files. If you're copying, you know, five gigabyte files back and forth between two drives, sure, it can make a difference, but unless you're doing that, then it has no difference. The most important factor is your 4K random read. Those will be the 4K bytes, the 4 kilobyte fi size files for things that your programs would use. Basically, your programs would use and be ask accessing. Your programs and software would be accessing those size files. So those are the most important. Um, You'll also need things like benchmarks and um, comparisons. Comparison websites and benchmarks between different SSDs and their competition. Different SSDs, so you know, between an OCZ and a, and a uh, Intel SSD versus a Crucial versus a Corsair. And you want to find which one's the best of the best, you got to figure that out. Now, I would highly suggest going to review sites and looking at reviews on SSDs. I would prefer Tom, tomshardware.com is generally the best site for general computer reviews. That's my favorite. Different things like trim and garbage collector are very important because this is what they're used for. So it's hard to explain exactly. I could explain it, but basically what it does is it eliminates cycles. Your, your SSD goes through cycles. So it can do so many cycles per second. Some SSDs can do uh, 50,000 cycles per second, or IOPS, um, operations per second. Um, so those cycles are very, the um, higher cycle rate, the better. Now the trim, these, these technologies called trim, or garbage collector, basically make you use less cycles to do the same job. So basically you're getting faster speeds. Now, when it comes to having an SSD installed in your system, you always want to have AHCI turned on, which is a BIOS setting. It'd be HCI or IDE. If you get HCI, you can get really random in S, uh, um, drive problems that don't really make any sense at all and why in the world you'd have a problem like that. And plus, it will reduce your speed, your read and write speeds uh, in every single aspect. It will reduce speeds ginormously. Now, you've got to remember, move your page files from your SSD. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Or you can use it so it's so your page files are no bigger than one gigabyte. Move your temporary folder off SSD because basically it reduces writes in to the drive. If you can reduce writes to the drive, you can. That's good. So yeah, move it to another drive, such as um, basically when you have an SSD, you're supposed to have your SSD as your primary drive where Windows, your programs, games, and software would be installed. And then you'd have another drive, which would be an uh, actual hard drive, actual moving disk, physical moving hard drive. You want to use that to put different things like um, movies, music, files, large files. You want to keep on there because it can increase the life of your SSD and you know help you out ginormously. It can basically reduce the increase the life of your SSD and. It gives you more memory space for things that you don't really need to be accessed really, really, really instantly quick. And remember, my final tip would be do not render videos to your SSD. Don't render videos, pictures, music, or etc. Anything like that. Because basically, if you have an SSD and a hard drive in your system, you want to render to the hard drive. If you're using uh, video software or whatever, you want to render to the hard drive. 
because rendering it to the SSD is putting a lot of cycles on it. Your CP, I mean your, um, your SSD has a limited amount of cycles it can go through, through its the lifespan of your uh, of your SSD. Usually SSDs are expected to last five years. If you say your SSD is upright, it can last up to nine years without really having a problem. So five years of having an SSD, it's going to be out way out of date anyway. So if you buy an SSD today, it's going to be way out of date in five years. So you can really up, so you'd be technically be upgrading by then away from that particular SSD. So yeah, don't render on it because the renderings recreates a lot of the cycles and you have a limited number of cycles on your, on each SSD has a limited number of cycles. Now, also other things to consider would be like on websites like I know Newegg does, they list how many the um, manufacturer, manufacturer something something basically how many hours they expect the SSD to live. It could be a million hours. So you take a million hours, let's go ahead and do it right now. I've seen one at a million hours. Basically, if you've got a million hour hard drive, it, it should technically last you 127 years. So you really don't need to worry about things like that. So yeah, basically use these steps to figure out which SSD. And if you'd like to know what, what the top line SSD at the market is, I'm not gonna say it in this video right now, but I will list, if you ask me in the comments or send me a personal message, I will be glad to answer your questions. I just don't want to say it in this video because you might see this video two years down the road from the posting date today. You might see it two years down the road and then it's new SSDs and you'll be like, that's so old, blah, 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 blah. So I'm not going to list, say, this SSD is the best because in six months it could not be, it probably won't be the best SSD in the world and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be anyway. So yes, thank you. This is my video of how to choose an SSD and things you need to know before you buy an SSD and is whether it's worth your money or not. That's totally up to you. Thank you and I'll see you guys later.